This is a $1,000 mod. It has seven different upgradable paths up to a T6. And you can upgrade every single one of them to get the first ever 6666666 tower. I'm gonna be comparing this $1,000 super mod all the way down to this $1 mod. To this $100 mod that has special sound effects, upgrades, and you name it. So this mod is called the Realistic Monkey. It just puts a skin of a 3D gorilla. It doesn't even like move or anything. He just stands there and just like a dart just shoots out of him. Does he have any upgrades? No, like nothing happens even if you upgrade him. Wait, it just adds it to every tower. No way. It just turns everything into just do a 3D gorilla that doesn't move. Next up, this is a $5 mod that apparently it just changes the sizes of everything. Wait, so we have the dart monkey looks kind of normal, but where's the balloons? Wait, look how big the balloon- Wait, look at the range of the monkey. What is that? Wait, now he's huge. He's huge. What? Does he just keep growing in size? Wait, now he's tiny. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look at how big these DDTs are. What is happening? It's just turned into absolute madness and this is a mod i had made for ten dollars it's the spit monkey it costs ten thousand dollars to buy that's outrageous he doesn't have a ton of range wait look at if you can zoom in you can see his mouth's open he's like Ehh. wait he doesn't have any upgrades it just says spits on balloons he's just like Bleh. look at his face he has like shoots a spitball wait how strong is he what if we send like a ceramic balloon at him let's see <laughs> you can even hear him. He goes, <laughs> no way. Wait, wait, wait. Can the spit monkey defeat a BAD? What happens if we get a bunch of spit monkeys? Oh my gosh, wait. He's actually so strong. <laughs> wait. He's got 44,000 pop. He's actually good. I would have never imagined that. <laughs> And this is a mod that costs $100 to make. This is the R2D2 mod. Even as sound effects. Look, even the model actually moves and he just looks around, which is very cool. So let's see. How strong is he at, like, at the very start? Let's see. Wait, does he even do anything at the start? He doesn't do anything. So R2D2 is given a, a scompling, so it increases hero XP. You can get life form scanner. Oh, so it looks like R2D2 is just like a super strong support tower. He gets a life form scanner installed. So camo detection and MIB for $500. That's insane. Better scanner. R2D2 now has the ability to regen lives. So he gives you an extra life. Okay. R2G2 regenerates more lives, even more lives, 50 lives, and then 500 lives on the final path. So is it literally he just generates 500 lives around? I love this sound of it. He even like moves around. Look at that. He's just like womp womp. He looks around. He even his little like middle things open up there. That's so cool. It's basically like the best support tower ever. Increases hero XP. Gain hero XP quicker. Even more hero XP. R2D2 is now classified war hero. Portal ability? No way. An R2D2 god. And then if you get the bottom path. So R2D2 is developed as an astromech R series. So how much money do we make at the end of the round? That's the main question. Oh look. And he's a little symbol. Look at that. So he's in range of R2-D2. He actually attacks super duper fast. Look at how fast these guys to pop. He makes $10,000 a round. Look at that. We're generating 500 lives a round now. Look at that. Quincy's just going to level up super fast too. If we just like put this all the way up to this. He's already leveling up. Quincy's already just like full on sending it. And R2-D2's made $50,000. That is insane. But not as insane as the last and final mod. This mod cost one thousand dollars to have made which is the starship enterprise mod look at how many paths it has all of these are custom upgrades and icons all unique paths equipped with phasers photon torpedoes and face cannons refit the ship and choose your career path always cost one thousand seven hundred and one dollars even has a custom like background and it even just like flies around which is so cool so as the base tower and let's see how good it is. So as the base tower, it shoots out like laser beams. And then it has like these homing like explosive things. Like it's not, it's not doing that great. So the first upgrade on the top path is phase variants. Phaser 
Phaser shots can critically strike balloons for 10 damage. Phaser beams deal more damage and will push back balloons. So it looks like this is this upgrade for this phaser thing that it shoots like pew, pew. Fire will adds additional phasers that fire at strong and close balloons. Oh, look at that. So yeah, so now it's firing even more and it pushes the balloons back. Beam overload. Phaser beams create a burst of energy on contact with balloons, also damaging other balloons nearby. Now we're up to $43,000. Maximum power setting, immense damage, and crits. Can we set one Moab out? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's pretty powerful. A BAD, I don't know if we can pop it. And now we have anti-proton beams for $200,000. Devastating, powerful anti-proton beams with crits strong enough to one-shot many balloons. Oh, look at the, and so it turns into this like dark red and he's just actually doing enough damage to hit the BAD. And we only have one out of seven different upgrade paths that we can get. Faster arming. Torpedo takes less reload time. What is the torpedo? I think that's the torpedo. Torpedo's now firing a burst of a three wide. So does it shoot three torpedoes now? Look, it does. Look, three of these torpedoes. So look at that. It just like one shot ZOMG balloons. Imbued torpedoes. We still can't see camo balloons though, which is a problem. Quantum torpedoes. Upgrade photon torpedoes to powerful quantum torpedoes. Explosion damage radius and pierce increase. Trans phasic torpedoes. Torpedoes now phase through balloon layers, dealing massive damage to all layers at the same time. Wait, so let's go to, to like a BAD. So now it's defeating a BAD before it can even get to the beginning stage. And we've only gotten through two upgrade paths. We still got five more. Face cannon attack angle increased. Face cannons fire much more faster. Oh, so these are the red cannons that get fired out. Quad cannons, heavy cannons, and then Polaron cannons. Upgrade to Polaron cannons dealing massive damage with unlimited pierce. Look at this, it's giant purple lasers. Look at how much damage it's doing. Look, the dummy balloon can't even get by now. Attack pattern alpha. Increase the attack speed of all enterprises weapons. Every weapon's now faster. Increase the pierce of all weapons. So this path just increases like everything, right? Enterprise attacks do bonus damage to ceramic and fortified balloons. Divert power from all non-essential systems and give it to the weapons. So we can use that to boost it even more. Attacks do bonus damage to Moab class balloons and finally, attack pattern Omega. Enterprise attacks do bonus damage based on maximum HP of balloons. So, oh my gosh, look, look at this. Look what it does against this balloon. Look at this, look at the dummy balloon. This is the, literally the test balloon and it's popping it like instantly. And we still have three upgrade paths. This tower is crazy. Deploy shuttlecraft. These, let's just get all of these. Wait, wait, oh, look at this. It adds more, more things. Upgrades deploy shuttle stronger. So now there's multiple like shuttle crafts. Eject the warp core. So it creates an explosion and then a shuttle squadron. Five shuttles and then there's one last one. So Admiral, instead of deploying shuttles, calls in all previous enterprises. So now we have even more. Oh wait, so is this like an ability? Oh, we can just call in like a huge bomb explosion now. And now the BADs are just getting destroyed. What would happen if we jumped up to like round 500 and we just played on round 500? It's actually destroying round 500, but it can't see camos yet. We still have two upgrades though. So can pop purple balloons. There we go. Scan for life forms. Allows Enterprise to see and pop camo balloons. Remove regrow fortified properties. Oh, look at this. Even the icon has literally a picture of the monkey in it. Grant all monkeys temporary access to advanced Starfleet technology. Wait, what? Monkeys have permanent access to even more advanced Starfleet technology. Ability now increases its attack speed. Gives all monkeys the most advanced Starfleet technology possible. Wait, wait, what does this mean? Does this mean that these monkeys have like, like lasers or something? I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, he has 700 pops. That's definitely the case. Like if we hit play, oh my gosh, look at this guy. It's a zero, zero, zero dart monkey that has almost 100,000 pops. So it literally mega boosts all the other towers by it. And look at this, wait, look at the darling gunner. The darling gunner's firing purple laser beams too. Upgrade to the Enterprise A. Oh, so wait. Oh, look, we're upgrading and getting more. The ship is changing. Now we have two ships. All right, the next one is the Ambassador class. The Galaxy class. Holy cow, look at it. 
We've got like a whole fleet of ships just flying around in outer space. Is this even Balloon's Tower Defense anymore? Sovereign class. And then the Odyssey class. Increased pierce and damage for all weapons. And here it is. It's finally the $1,000 mod. Let's see how it does. Let's go to like round 750. It just destroys it. Our Darwin. Look at this. Wait, and so we can use this a bit. We can like, we have abilities too. So it definitely has a couple of problems with DDTs. Because DDTs are super duper fast. But it has 5 billion pops. Giant ships just flying around. That is so cool. And if you want to see more of these things, please hit that like button. Huge shout out to all the modders who participated in this, by the way.